Well, hello there everyone, and welcome to my channel and my kitchen. I'm Chef Christy, and it is time to cook, y'all. So what do you do when you have an abundance of zucchini? You make zucchini pie. That's right, you heard me, zucchini pie. Listen, I know that that sounds strange, but please believe me, this pie will blow your mind. It is also known as mock apple pie, and that is just what it tastes like, a delicious apple pie. So my son Ben was one of the pickiest eaters when he was little, but he loved apple pie. So my mom made this zucchini pie and we kind of told him it was apple. <laughs> I know, but he loved it. Uh, he loved it so much that he would ask her to make this pie. And eventually we did tell him that it was zucchini um, and he didn't even care. He still loved it and he still loves it to this day and he knows it's zucchini. So that is saying something folks, I'm just saying. Okay, so I have my mom's recipe here. Uh, you will need four cups of thinly sliced zucchini, and you will need two teaspoons of some lemon juice, and you will need one cup of sugar, four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar, and then what I have here is one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Now the recipe calls for one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and then a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, but I really like just to use pumpkin pie spice because it has that cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, it's all in there and I love the flavor that it adds. So this pie has a crumb topping uh, and you will need a half of a cup of all-purpose flour, four tablespoons of butter that I have cut into cubes, and then you will need a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. So I actually ended up with around six cups of the sliced zucchini and that is fine because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add it to a large pot and cook the zucchini for about five minutes until it's tender and it will kind of cook down a bit. So I am cooking my zucchini on a medium heat and I am stirring it constantly. Um, I don't want it to burn. I did not add any water to this zucchini. I'm just letting it cook to, so it's nice and tender. Zucchini has a lot of water in it. So I'm wanting that water to kind of render out of the zucchini so that we don't end up with a soggy zucchini pie. Okay, so my mom's recipe says to cook until tender and then drain, uh, but there is nothing to drain. Uh, this looks like it is pretty dry and it is very tender, so I'm going to go with this. This is actually the first time I've ever made this pie, believe it or not. This is something my mom would always make, but I've never made it. So I'm going to add the lemon juice to the zucchini now. It says two, two teaspoons. All right, so I'm gonna stir this lemon juice in. And then in this bowl here that I had the zucchini, I'm gonna combine the dry ingredients, the sugar, the flour, the cream of tartar, and the pumpkin pie spice. And then I'm just gonna mix this all together. Mm, I can smell that pumpkin pie spice. It smells glorious. And then I'm going to add this dry mixture to my zucchini. And 
and stir it all together. until it's really well combined and that zucchini is coated. So next I'm going to put my zucchini mixture into this pie crust here. Now I did pre-bake this pie crust and let me show you just how I did that. Using a fork, I'm putting holes all in the bottom and sides of my pie. And then I'm placing some parchment paper on top and pouring in some dried beans, but you could also use rice. Then I'm going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Now pre-baking your pie crust is something that I like to do. Um, you don't have to do that, but I feel like it just really helps to make sure you don't have a soggy bottom on the bottom of your pie. Uh, and I will also give you the link to the video with the recipe of how to make my pie crust. And finally, I'm going to make the delicious crumb topping that's going to go over this pie and make it so yummy. I'm going to combine my flour and my brown sugar. Now, I'm going to admit something to you. I went in my cupboard today to grab brown sugar and I did not have any. So I made my brown sugar and I will have a shorts video coming out uh, really soon. Just how to make brown sugar in case you are like me and you go reach for some and you don't have any. It's super easy to make. So I'm going to add the brown sugar to the flour. And then I'm going to add this butter. And I'm just going to stir this butter into the flour until it's nice crumbly texture. And honestly, I feel like I can do better with my fingers, so I'm gonna take my fingers and do this. All right, this is looking good. So now I'm just going to sprinkle this all over top of my zucchini. Okay, so now I'm going to bake this pie in a 350 degree oven for around one hour. Check out this pie, y'all. <laughs> this pie is absolutely stunning and it smells, it smells like an apple pie. Oh goodness, guys. I'm going to cut into this and show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, here goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm telling you, this tastes like apple pie. Now, I don't remember if mom peeled the skins on the zucchini or not. Um, I feel like maybe she did. I'm sure she'll tell me. Um, I don't remember seeing the green skins because it really did look like apple pie. So if you wanna fake out your family even more, peel the skins is what I would say. But just make it and see if anybody knows. It literally tastes like apple pie. No joke. 
It's delicious. This is definitely a pie that you're going to want to give a try, especially if you love apple pie. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And as always, I will see you soon with more recipes.